Welcome to this Holy Guardian Angel Meditation. And this meditation is best approached with an attitude of serenity and not fear. Remember, we create our reality. When we come from a place of stillness, serenity and love, we create very powerful and uplifting results. Ultimately, there is nothing to fear. Fear and other associated energies, especially self-hatred and guilt, create openings in the energy fields that lower frequency forces can exploit. So if there's any fear or guilt or self-attack, please do the emotional healing meditation or the releasing fear and anxiety meditation before doing this meditation. And as always, closing your eyes, open body, open mind, then breathe. And with your breath, feeling your connection to the light of the universe, for you are a point of light on a great web of light. You are connected to a great web of light, connecting all beings in this universe, and you are held in love. I call your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance, your higher self, I am presence, monadic self, all angels, archangels working with you, all masters of light working with you, all guides, all inner earth beings and masters, all star races, all galactic councils, come be with you. And ultraviolet fire angels. On the in-breath, breathing in ultraviolet fire into all the cells of the body and the out-breath, releasing anything in the cells of a lower frequency nature back to the universe, allowing more light into your field. Breathing the ultraviolet fire into the bones of the body or joints or vertebrae. the whole skeletal system, ultraviolet fire, all joints, all vertebrae, and on the out-breath releasing anything that needs to be released back to the universe. Back to the universe, allowing more light to return to you. And into the blood, ultraviolet fire, into the blood and releasing any programming or energies in the blood on the out breath that can be released back to the universe allowing more light into your field aligning your whole field with a web of life that connects you to source energy calling back light to your field and releasing anything in the organs of the body, in the chest and in the torso. Anywhere you're holding energies that need to be released, send it back to the universe, allowing more light to return to you. And all systems of the body, digestive system, reproductive system, nervous system, hormonal system, releasing anything you need to release back to universe. Aligning your field with more light and calling on ultraviolet fire angels to dissolve any cords or threads in your field, attaching to any beings or places that can be dissolved, releasing from your body, especially the torso and all chakras, front and back.
top of head, below, and root chakra, dissolving and releasing any cords attaching to any people or situations or lower force beings in the astral, lower astral or lower galactic planes, releasing back to universe, dissolving. And if you can, if there are any agreements or contracts or vows or promises causing you any interference or problems, surrender all of those vows throughout your whole Akashic that can be now surrendered into ultraviolet fire. And ask these angels to burn and release, burn and release anything, any promises from any lifetime and releasing any energies that can be released attached to any promises. Back to universe, aligning your whole field with more light. And many problems in this life can come from agreements from other lifetimes or agreements from the bloodline. Dissolve all agreements that can be dissolved. and call light back to yourself and calling the angels of the horizontal plane Raphael of the East Archangel of Air Archangel of Healing Magician Angel the symbol is the caduceus and the energy is emerald green fire open now to that angel and to the south Michael Archangel of fire the symbol a great sword of light and the energy is electric blue fire calling now that energy into your field to hold and support you in this holy guardian angel meditation To the west is Gabriel, Archangel of Water. The symbol is a great silver chalice of light. And the energy is diamond white fire. Invoking that energy into your field to hold and support you, hold and support you. And to the north, Uriel, Archangel of Earth. The symbol is a golden pentacle. And the energy is ruby red fire. Inviting that energy into your field. For angels, for fires. open and breathe open and breathe open and breathe and to the vertical force angels Metatron and Sandalphon calling first to Sandalphon to bring up that crystalline grid of the earth up from Gaia up through to the feet and opening the feet, chakras in the feet, all layers, levels, dimensions, allowing this light up into the body. From the feet up into the torso, passing by the base chakra and the sacral chakra. Solar plexus chakra and anchoring into the heart that opens. Heart that opens. Allow this grid of light to anchor into the heart.
and allow any energies from the body that needs to drain away, any energies you've picked up from anybody else, projections, conditioning, imprinting, release to the grid. Aligning more light into your field, your own light, the light of the grid, releasing other people's energies, any energies you've picked up from the 3D matrix, dissolve and release. Dissolve and release. And as this is happening, let's call to the Christ grid from the central sun to come down from the central sun through the stargate of our sun down into the room, golden white fiery grid. And down through the body, through the head, the crown. down through the middle of the head, the third eye, passing through the throat chakra and anchoring into the heart. Anchoring into the heart and again dissolving any energies in your field of a high nature, any energies in your field that need to be dissolved back to the Christ grid. Aligning more light into your field. And a call upon your higher self of Metatron to seal all entrances to the physical body with a five pointed star of light, a golden pentagram. Beginning with the eyes, allowing your higher self of Metatron to seal with a golden five pointed star in a circle of light each eye. And as this is happening, remember the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this physical opening with light. All lower energy projections, included ill will, are banished. Only light may enter therein. And also with the ears, sealing with a golden five-pointed star in a circle of light each ear, remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright, indwelling spirit. We seal this physical opening with light. All lower energy projections, including ill will, are banished. Only light may enter therein. So sealing the eyes and sealing the ears and then the nostrils with a golden five pointed star in each nostril, remembering the body is the sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this physical opening with light. All lower energy projections, including ill will are banished. Only light may enter therein. So sealing the eyes and ears and nostrils. And then the mouth, your higher self of Metatron seals the mouth with a golden five pointed star in a circle of light. Remembering the body is the sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this physical opening with light. All lower energy projections, including ill will are banished. Only light may enter therein. And coming to the sexual organs, whether the penis or vagina, and sealing this opening with a five-pointed golden star in a circle of light, remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this physical opening with light. All lower energy projections, including ill will, are banished. Only light may enter therein.
and coming to the final opening the anus sealing this opening with a five-pointed golden star in a circle of light remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit we seal this physical opening with light all lower energy projections including ill will are banished only light may enter therein And I call upon your higher self and Metatron to begin sealing all energy centers in the body, beginning in the crown and visualizing a rosy pink ankh above the crown, lying flat above the crown, several inches above, allowing the loop of the ankh to be at the back of the head. and the stem to the front, remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light, only light may enter therein. Sealing the crown with a rosy pink ankh. And coming down to the third eye and seeing a rosy Ankh in front of the third eye and also behind the third eye. Remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. And seeing the ankh with the loop upwards and the stem pointing downwards, sealing the third eye, protecting it. And also allowing an ankh to appear on the left and right side of the third eye, so four anks around the head, sealing this center in light. And coming down to the throat, I ask your higher self, Metatron, to begin to seal the throat and visualize now a rosy pink ank at the front of the throat. front of the throat. The body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. Sealing this and seeing the anchor appear at the back of the throat, sealing and protecting the back. And also to the left and right, four anks around the throat center protecting it from lower frequency interference. And bringing the energy down to the heart. I call upon your higher self and Metatron to seal the heart center. Remembering the body is the sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. And seeing this ank at the back and also to left and right, four anks around the heart center. Sealing it, protecting it in light. This rosy pink ank. Coming down to the solar plexus, I call upon your higher self and Metatron to seal this energy center in the body calling upon a rosy pink ankh at the front of the solar plexus. Remembering the body is the sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. And seeing also the ankh at the back and the left and the right, sealing it. Four anks around the solar plexus, protecting it in all directions. And bringing the attention to the sacral center, I call upon your higher self and Metatron to seal this energy center. Remembering the body is a sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. 
and seeing this rosy pink ink at the front of the center and then also at the back and then also at the sides left and right protecting it all directions all directions and finally the root we call upon your higher self a metatron to seal this energy center in the body remembering the body is the sacred temple for the bright indwelling spirit. We seal this energy center with light. Only light may enter therein. And see an ankh flat below the root chakra. The loop pointing to the back and the stem to the front. Protecting the root or base chakra with light. Seven centers in the body protected. In this process, I call upon Isis and your higher self, the goddess Isis and your higher self, to hold your inner child during this process, to protect your vulnerable selves, to take, if necessary, any of your vulnerable selves or light to a protective sanctuary of light. Call upon the great goddess Isis and your higher self to hold your inner child or your vulnerable selves during this process, if necessary to take all of these selves or some of them to a protective sanctuary of light in a higher dimension where they can be held safely. I call upon all protective angels working with Michael, warrior angels, to be present now in the next process of this meditation. And I call a guardian angel, one of the angels working with Michael, with a great flaming sword of light to the front of your energy field. Just notice a great being of light appear before you, holding a great flaming sword with both hands upright. And this angel may be much taller than you, may be much taller than you. And feel the power and light and heat from this angel. one of the many angels working with Michael. And I summon another guardian angel with another flaming sword held in both hands to the right of your field. Protecting the right of your field. feeling the heat and power of this angel. And I call another third angel behind your field. 
a great angel of light, working with Michael, holding in both hands a great sword of light. And perhaps feeling the heat and energy behind you, protecting the back of your field. And finally, to the left of your field, the, the fourth angel, working with Michael, holding a great flaming sword in both hands. To the left, feeling the power and light of this angel. Four angels protective angels around you. Probably larger than you, the swords, great swords in their hands. And then notice the angels begin to turn outward turning outward. These four guardian angels holding up, each holding up a flaming sword of light out into the astral plane. banishing any lower frequency energies, dissolving any cords or interference, reflecting off any projections, and breathe. And breathe and allowing these angels to be with you throughout your day. protecting your field as you go about your business in the matrix of this world. And you can do this meditation as often as you like. So you can hold a great light in the astral plane, banishing anything lower, banishing anything lower. And breathe and breathe and coming back to your body. Feeling these four great angels around your field as you go about your day or as you enter the dream time. thanking all other angels for holding the space, your team in spirit, Isis, And with your breath, begin to come back to your energy field, noticing how much more light you feel. 
noticing how much more grounded you are in the body and into the earth plane. Notice how much more relaxed you feel as you dissolve or reflect off any lower frequency energies. And breathing, coming back to your body. And as always, this meditation is offered to you with love and blessings. Love and blessings. <laughs>